What's up guys? Today we are doing the first performance mod on the Corvette. Finally. It's not a big thing, but uh, we got some parts in, so let's get them on. Hey guys, before we get too deep into this video, I just wanted to uh, say that we got stickers. Check those out. We got Poots Garage. Woo! So, um, I don't know, I'm not sure I'm going to do this yet, but I'm probably just going to give a bunch of these away. I got like a hundred of them. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure out a way to do it. I'll probably come up with a new email and just have you guys email me some addresses and whatnot, and I'll just ship it out on my dime. So, something kind of cool. Um, but, let's get to the map. So for all the new watchers out there, i just like to uh, know where you're watching from. Uh, you let me know in a comment in the video, and uh, I'll put a little red pin on the map in your spot. First one we got is uh, very far away, so we're on the other map right now. This is Oosterwold, Holland. That's a different one for me. I guess it'd be Netherlands also or something. I don't know. Hope you're not pulling my leg on that one, but uh, oh, I put that in the wrong spot. I don't know where I'm going. It's right near Amsterdam, right there. All right, thank you. Next, we head out to Spanish Springs, Nevada. That's uh, basically my new area. It's about 30, 35 minutes away from me or so. So we'll put you in right there. And we head back over to the west coast to Stockton, California. I know that place very well. And we head out to Granite Falls, Washington. That's where I was located before I moved out here. So there's not a whole lot on the map for that area, so I kind of just have to guess. Yeah, we'll give it out there somewhere. And the last one, uh, I'm kind of stuck on. So the comment was Idaho, Louisiana, but I can't find an Idaho, Louisiana. I've searched it, I can't find nothing, so maybe spell check came across wrong on the comment. Mr. Uh, Sandmaker can update that on uh, update me on that if you can. And that's everything for this week. So uh, yeah, drop me a comment where you're watching from if you want to see your pin on the map. Represent your state, your country, your city, whatever. So this isn't the most exciting thing. Uh, it's not you know super flashy, and it's not going to make a huge difference on performance, or I don't even know if it makes a sound difference. But we're doing it. Uh, this is the Vera Ram intake system. I was waiting on it. I was supposed to have it last weekend which it did show up, problem was it was missing some parts. So I had to call him up and uh, wait for him to ship the rest of the stuff out. So here we are, uh, two weeks later, now we have everything we need. So let's take a closer look. So like I said, it's nothing too crazy. It's just a bunch of uh, intake parts. We got ducting. I guess the best thing is some silicone uh, couplings, standard hose clamps, There's an air filter in there. And the parts we are replacing will be... Oh, actually wash this thing. It looks a lot cleaner under here now, finally. Uh, so the standard kit replaces all this air box mess up here. And then I got the optional power duct, which also replaces this piece with a better one. And then when doing this, it's also going to move our mass airflow sensor that's currently down there. It's going to put it all the way up here, which is, I don't know, supposed to be better for performance, more on like when you're tuning them and stuff like that, which shouldn't really make a difference on this one because I'm not tuning it anytime soon. But yeah, so it's not gonna make a huge difference. I mean, yeah, it kind of gets rid of like, I don't like these, I don't know, whatever you call that, slinky plastic adapters and stuff like that. And it will kind of smooth out the air box down there a little bit, make it look a little better. And the main way this is making more power, so if we go to the front here and try and take a look, this is the front of the air box where the air filter's in. And uh, I believe it pulls air in. It does pull air from underneath the vehicle, but it's directed up and I think it pulls it in from like kind of the front area, just kind of right behind the air box there. It, uh, you know, obviously works good and it's efficient for factory stuff. But what we're doing, this Vera Ram is considered a Ram air intake. So it's gonna have ducts that actually come off the air box and they will come into here. So it'll be pulling air into the engine from here and on the other side, it'll have dual ducts coming up in there. And as you can see right now, they're basically just blocked off with just my uh, fog lights in there. So I need to take those little deer whistle mounts off too. Uh, so yeah, we gotta kinda disassemble a whole bunch of stuff inside and around and, and do a lot of funky stuff. It's not gonna be a 
exciting install video, so I won't bore you with that. So we'll just try and get some uh, time lapse video going for this. Yeah, I kind of just laid everything out here so you can see what we're working with. So you can see the the two ducts; those are going down to those fog light areas. And uh, this is our, our new air filter. This has a like a straight through air filter too, where the factory is doing a kind of a 90 degree. The air filter actually sits flat. It's a little bigger. It sits flat, makes the air flow 90 degrees to get in there so that should be a little more efficient just in that aspect and then this is the power duct that's just replaces that factory unit with one that flows a lot more it has a lot more I don't know capacity and whatnot and we just got our hardware a bunch of silicone uh, adapters hose clamps there's a foam gasket for the uh, air filter and all that and a little bit of hardware so we got truck parts. Don't look too close, I'll go over all this later. But I also wanted to throw in some footage here. I went to Monterey, California a couple days ago and it was a blast. So uh, here's just a little bit of footage of that. curious if this thing's gonna make any more sound I don't know it's got a little more freer flowing so sometimes it makes some more sound so let's get a little uh, before shot from the just from the front of the car Thank you. 
done. That was an absolute pain in the ass. So, there's the new power duct going down into the, I don't know, whatever you call the rest of that, the ram air. Nothing fits good on this kit, which was all in the reviews, so it's not a big surprise. And it's probably too dark now to see, but that's where we're getting air to the engine now. You can see the fog lights don't really fit all that great anymore, but... Let's give it a little start and see how she runs. I'm glad that's over. Um, before we start it, I just want to mention that this thing, I guess, needs a, a kind of a major learning cycle. So it's supposed to start it, let it idle for, I forget, it said two to five minutes, something like that. And then uh, it needs a lot of highway miles to really adjust for the extra airflow. So yeah, let's start it and see how it sounds. There we go. Uh, I don't know if it's making any more noise. It's not that important to me, but I'll have to watch the video myself and watch it to see if there's really a difference or not. But uh, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit of a whoosh. But uh, yeah, if anything, the performance I gained from changing out this air filter is gonna be the big difference. Look how filthy this thing was. Yeah, that thing is nasty. So it was definitely due. Uh, I still got to change all the fluids in this thing. I haven't even changed the oil in this thing since I've owned it, which is really bad. So I got to change oil. I want to change uh, transmission fluid, the clutch, brake, any fluids in there. I want to swap it all out. So, uh, yeah, I think we're good for now.